Hi guys! Today I was watching Adele's music video for Someone Like You which was released last week and I really liked the song and I really really liked her hair in it and I thought she looked really pretty. This is what her hair looked like or how I tried to recreate her hair and it's a really poofed up look and almost near a beehive but not really a beehive because it's not that tall but this is what it looks like and in the back I don't know if you can tell but there's like a little coil thingy going on which I'll show you how I did and um, I took a screenshot of how her hair looked like in the music video which will be right here Old friend. now in the back it kind of looks like there's a little coil of hair so I tried to replicate that so of course for this hairstyle you're gonna need to tease your hair a lot and I find that if you use second day hair or old and not clean hair, it tends to work out better for me because my hair is more manipulative, manipulatable, I don't know if that's a word, but <laughs> anyways, so I like to use dirty hair instead of just washed hair when I want to tease it, so my hair is kind of yucky right now, but it's okay because it works out better. And also, second day hair tends to be more texturized because after I wash my hair, my hair is really flat. But um, it's more texturized and that's what her hair looks like in the music video. So we're going to use old hair for this. I'm going to start off by parting my hair more like hers. See, I have a really deep side part, but her part is more towards the middle, so I'm going to part it differently. And I might look really weird at first, but that's okay. You can use a rat tail comb for this if you want, but I'm just using my hands and guesstimating. Okay, so it looks weird because my veins are like not used to this, but that's okay. But I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair and taking the crown part and deciding what parts I'm going to tease. And it's just a basic crown area. So I'm going to take that and start teasing from the back. So I'm going to take the most far back section or layer and use my round brush. And I like, <laughs> I can't see you, but I like using this round brush because it's made of boar bristles and it helps hold the hair better. So I'm just going to back comb. And you have to use hairspray to hold it. So I'm using this Sebastian Shaper spray and I really like it. So I'm going to spray it. And back home some more. You're going to need a lot of hairspray for this because it's quite a high poof. Back home, back home, back home. Hairspray. Back home. See how high it is already? Yay! Normally, I don't like teasing my hair because it's really not good for it but once in a while it's okay I guess now you're gonna want to be careful when you get to the hair towards the front because you want it to look smooth on top and not crazy like this. <laughs> I can taste the hairspray. So I'm going to back comb a little. Also smooth it out. And then, see how when I take this whole section, it just goes upwards. So that's what you want. Then, you're going to just uh, try to use bobby pins and clip pin all of it into place. And then move your surrounding hair to cover up the sides and make it look rounded on top. So, take a bobby pin. It works better if you have big bobby pins, but I lost all of mine. So we're just going to have to make do with what we have. Mm -hmm. 
just pin it. So I'm gonna take some pieces on the side and also tease it to give it a fuller look. I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. It's really hard to see because the whole video is in black and white, but I think that they sort of took some pieces and um, twisted it a little and pinned it in the back. So that's what I'm going to do. Twist it a lot, but loosely pin it. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And as you're pinning them, just push upwards on your hair to try to get it to go more upwards. According to the close-up screenshot of what the back of her hair looks like, it looks like there's like a little piece of hair they took and coiled it into a circle and placed it on the back, probably to hide all the bobby pins. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little small piece of hair just from here and I'm going to twist it with my finger and then wrap it around itself and make a little circle thing. So with that I'm going to pin that down with more bobby pins. I think one bobby pin will do the job. So like that. And so I'm gonna hairspray the top so it's secure. Yep, that's a lot of hairspray. Don't worry if it's a little messy because I think they're kind of going for the messy look in her video. So that's it. It's really short and easy to do, and I hope you liked it. Um, if you want the rest of your hair, the bottom layer, to look more like Adele's, since mine is more straight, you can go in with a flat iron or a curling iron and really loosely curl it and have really natural looking waves. But a lot of people have naturally wavy hair, so that's really cool. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!